Well, a lot of times people want to know how how does Perry Peacock do stuff, you know, and I don't know why they ask. Probably they ask because they know I'm kind of a weirdo. I kind of do things different a lot of times. So <laughs> if you want to know some odd way of doing things, just ask me. I'm going to show you uh, a bunch of different ways that we use our ponchos. This is a uh, Yukon chair made out of a poncho. So I'm really excited. Great to be out here. So let's get on with the day, man. So anyway, this this Yukon chair, and this is like probably the shortest version you could make. Um, I'm close to the ground, but I kind of like it that way. But that works really well. So basically, you got a tripod. You got three poles. This back pole I usually make shorter by about a foot, and this makes a chair that I can move around. So I can I can make it here, and I can take it over there, or back over there. So as you can see here. None of these poles are even matched. They're not even that straight. It doesn't really even matter. For length, this is what we got, a little over six feet. And uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go any shorter than that. Uh, I've gone eight or nine. I got eight, eight or nine feet before, or 10 feet, I think. Okay, this is very, very simple to set up the tripod. Like I say, you don't even, you, know, you really have to know any particular knots. I mean, we're not we're not dealing with much stress here, or whatever. And then I grab one of the other legs here. Usually, if the legs if they have some little knobs or stubs on them or whatever, I'll try to take advantage of that. So you can see, there's that little knob stick. You know, it doesn't matter though. It's not going to go anywhere. But anyway, literally, you can just go around here and do a couple figure eights and really be good enough to go. If I do that, then I like to at least go around through the middle one or two times. So there's those two poles hooked together. So that was pretty easy, right? Now, I don't really have anything any knobs or anything I can put with this one, but it doesn't matter. So I just lay this thing up here, and I'm just gonna do, like I said, I'm just gonna do a couple figure eights again between this pole and the new one I just added. And I just come down here and, I just come down here and tie this off with a couple of half hitches on the back side here. And uh, actually, you can put this whole thing up just using the cord that comes with the uh, poncho. All right, so here's the end of the poncho gathered the same the same way you do setting up a hammock out of it. We're doing the very same thing, and I'm just keeping my cord right here. Now I can put this up right side out or wrong side out, whichever way I want to do it. Since this is a camo, I want to put it up right side out so I can see the camo. <laughs> so otherwise you'd see the back side. So now look at this. I'm telling you seriously, you don't even need, need any knots. Well, not any, but so you bring this up here and you can just go like around the back here and do a figure eight around a couple of those. Throw a half hitch around here or whatever you want. Something, a couple of those. And then snug them down. That's it, okay? So that's how you're gonna sit into it so you'll see the camo, right? So I just kind of want to fold it back up. Okay, so here's the other end of the poncho. Now you see that the cord that was left when we tied off this end? Well, we're going to take, there's two pieces left. We're going to take one of those. And I already know 
I already know on this one because I've set it up before a couple times, but I already know about where I want to be. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So folding it, ha folding it in half here gives us a place where we can put our, our seat log that kind of makes the seat out of the thing. That's where you're going to sit. Mainly what you want to do here, you want to be even. So I want to pull that up so it's as high as the other side. So it'll be even. And then we just pull us a half hitch through. Pull us another one through. Snug it up. And it'll be going across right here. Now, you'll notice that I've, I've trimmed trimmed all the uh, stubs and you know the roughness and that sort of thing I don't have to get real particular I don't, I don't really want anything sharp on here and incidentally you can do this with any of the ponchos I've made I've made Yukon chairs out of every poncho we've got all right so there we are now we're gonna dress it out a little bit and the hood right here you just just fold it to one side like that. That'll work good. And the the edges here, there's nothing particular about that. That I don't like them to be pinched between these two pieces of wood, but other than that. And you kind of want to have you want to have a little extra hanging out on both sides here. So now, here I am, that's all there is to it. So here's how you adjust how much, so you adjust how much lean there is. You know, if I lay it back more, then I'm going to lean back more. Or if I push it up like this, then I'm going to sit more upright. So this is how I can take a Yukon chair and using either another poncho or a tarp, I can convert a Yukon chair into a shelter. I can be, you know, pretty much out of the elements. I'm, I'm a little less so with the poncho than I would be if I put a tarp over here. I've slept, I've slept in these before and uh, very comfortable, very nice in the rain. Nice thing is I can see out if I peel that back, you can see the top of the tripod that's holding up my Yukon chair. And in this case, all I did is just throw the throw the hood of the uh, poncho over top of the tripod, and then once, then I just I can actually uh, I can actually snap down the hood there and draw that. So now I'm pretty well weatherproof and everything right there. Now there's one more one more thing that I want to show you. Something else I like about the setup is I can take my backpack or supplies or whatever and I can hang them from the tripod back here and whatever I'm using whether it's poncho or tarp overhead it'll help keep this is up off the ground and it keeps it out of the rain and stuff like that because you're you're just sitting there it's easy to get in and out and it makes a makes a nice shelter it's kind of a minimum shelter but it will do the trick so here's a PSTL it makes a nice little shelter over top of a Yukon chair close the back off a little bit so I use the shock cord that comes in in your uh, tarp kits uh, and put that in the tent stake that way when I go in and out of here I could just pull up like this and go in and out and then it just go back to normal. But look at all the space I've got inside here. If I just sli slither back like this a little bit, and I'll tell you what, I can just flat out snooze right in here. Just giving you some ideas so now when you go out this summer, try a bunch of this stuff, have some fun, man. It's fun just to tinker around and see what you can come up with. I better not sit here too long because I want to take me a nap and I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so, anyway.
So Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation, having a great time out here camping and uh, tinkering around a little bit. And uh, sometimes that's a little fun to do too.